Welcome to the third segment of three key requirements to prevent a heart attack or a stroke. So by now you understand what causes plaque in the arteries. You know that it's injury damage to the artery wall from excessive glycation and excessive oxidation. Well, if you don't know that yet, if you haven't watched the other video, there are two videos, then please go back and watch them. But if you have, then let's continue because the logical progression of this is, well, if we know what causes damage to the artery wall and we know what we need to avoid, well, how can we fix it? And good news is the body has different mechanisms, different processes and methods to help protect against such damage and also to help prepare such damage. And today I wanna to focus perhaps on one of the most important mechanisms and so based on that, I would say that the third requirement to prevent a heart attack or a stroke would be to boost or support your antioxidant defense systems. These systems are utilized to help protect against this type of damage, the kind of damage causes plaque in the arteries. So let's go over these systems and let's find out which nutrients help you do just that. And, and that's the great news about it. There are specific nutrients that help, that are involved in these systems. And it's just a matter of optimizing the intake of these nutrients in order to help support the systems in preventing the, the um, onset uh, or progression of plaque in the arteries. So the first system consists of these antioxidants, vitamin E, vitamin C, and a metabolite of vitamin B3 called NAD+. And you find them in structures that are rich in lipids and fats in the body. So for example, the cell membrane. This is a depiction of a cell membrane. There are a lot of fatty acids here, two layers of fatty acids. And without getting into too much detail and going over the different steps, um, I don't want to make it into a biochemistry class, but ultimately, ultimately, it's these nutrients, vitamin E, vitamin C, and NAD+, that neutralize, neutralize polyunsaturated fatty acids that cause excessive oxidation or the extension of oxidation, which is peroxidation. So ultimately what it is, it's damage, damage that these types of uh, unhealthy, unstable oils cause. And these three nutrients neutralize that type of damage. And these nutrients have been shown in various studies to be quite helpful at preventing cardiovascular events and cardiovascular disease in general. So this is just one study. There are many uh, to that effect. Uh, this was uh, conducted by Dr. Uh, Enstrom. James Enstrom, famous study from 1992. Uh, he, was, uh, he worked at the University of California in Los Angeles, and he showed that people who consume several hundred milligrams of vitamin C, as opposed to only several tens of milligrams of vitamin C, lived six years longer, and uh, the men experienced 50% less cardiovascular events, and women experienced 35% less cardiovascular events. Uh, so, Quite impressive, and there are other studies to this effect as well. Uh, and, and in fact, some studies show that uh, its effect, the effect of vitamin C and magnesium, on, on uh, sorry, I'm confusing two minerals, two types of nutrients, but uh, its effect on high blood pressure, for example, or cholesterol, can it actually even help with cholesterol, start at over 500 milligrams. So, uh, Optimize the intake of vitamin C is really, really important. Uh, vitamin E, again, this is a study on vitamin E, and typically studies on vitamin E and that show a benefit for cardiovascular, uh, for protection against cardiovascular disease, uh, typically use several hundred milligrams of international units, compare that to about uh, 15 uh, milligrams or, or a number close to that in international units, which constitute the daily recommended value for vitamin E. So what do you do with that information? Well, you try to optimize the intake of foods that contain these types of nutrients, right? So, so you can go online, you can find these types of tables, 
And you know that if you consume, for example, for example guavas or kiwis or strawberries, you get uh, a fair amount of, or bell peppers, you get fair amounts of, of vitamin C. My favorite, my favorite ones are the ones that uh, are the tropical fruit. Why? Because they also contain magnesium and potassium, two other important nutrients for, for supporting cardiovascular health. Uh, both of these nutrients, which are present in typically in, in, in higher than usual amounts in tropical fruit, are known to help support healthy blood pressure levels and healthy blood sugar levels. And uh, supporting healthy blood sugar levels actually is really important for cardiovascular well being and, and health in general. Why? Because uh, it's a source of energy, glucose sugar is a source of energy. And when you aren't able to produce enough energy, it's harder to repair and recover. And so those for me are particularly valuable as far as sources of vitamin C goes. When it comes to vitamin E, is a table of high sources of vitamin E, which includes these types of nutrients. And uh, with sunflower seeds and almonds being the highest sources, but when I would work with a client, I wouldn't advise to use generous amounts of these because these also contain polyunsaturated fatty acids. So nominal amounts of these, but maybe I'll focus more on avocados and spinach and butternut squash and kiwi fruit and, and broccoli and so on. Uh, and when it comes to vitamin B3, this table shows you some of the highest sources of vitamin B3, you know, some tuna or lean chicken uh, can give you more than the daily recommended value uh, of that vitamin. The next antioxidant defense system that I want to highlight is called superoxide dismutase. And what it is, it's a, an enzyme, it's a large enzyme that basically neutralizes free radicals. Free radicals being compounds that cause and promote oxidation, usually oxygen-based compound, nitrogen-based compound, so these compounds can also cause harm damage to the lining of the arteries and bring about plaque buildup. Now, this particular enzyme is basically dependent on the availability of these nutrients to, uh, to function, to be able to do its job. And so optimizing intake of these nutrients can be uh, beneficial. And so again, you can go and find the tables that show you the richer sources of these nutrients. You can pause this presentation if you'd like to, to view these and optimize the intake of these nutrients as well. All right, so this is, these are the high sources of manganese and here are the higher sources of zinc. And indeed, again, there is data to support the importance of the nu these nutrients, the importance of superoxide dismutase. Here it's con in the context of hypertension, helping to support healthy blood pressure. Here it's a in the context of, of endothelial dysfunction, copper having a, uh, a beneficial effect on endothelial dysfunction. What it is basically, it's a, it's, a uh, medical term to describe the conditions that bring about hardening and narrowing of the arteries. Uh, other compounds that have shown to improve endothelial dysfunction and support endothelial function and therefore uh, support uh, recovery and restoration of the lining of the arteries are vitamin C again, uh, vitamin E to some extent, particularly in diabetics. Uh, again, magnesium is a compound I mentioned before. Uh, Coins MQ10 also have shown that, and this is something else I've, I've mentioned before, and, and a few other nutrients as well. So these nutrients are very, very important for the cardiovascular system uh, and help protect against plaque buildup. And the third antioxidant defense system that I wanted to highlight, which again is a really, really important one, and this one can actually be tested relatively easily and through a blood test, is the glutathione system. And glutathione basically is a small molecule that helps in detoxifying toxins. And uh, it helps neutralize uh, methyl glyoxal. It's a compound that I mentioned in the previous video in the context of glycation. So glycation is the other type of injury or damage to the artery wall. 
and methyl glyoxal is is the compound that does that it's it's the well there are several but it's the main one and it's derived again from vegetable oil and so glutathione helps neutralize it uh, helps remove it from the body and also helps to neutralize and remove other reactive oxygen species in doing so glutathione is lost it has to be recovered and restored and these nutrients help in help to do so and so optimizing intake of these nutrients will be extremely beneficial. Now, I, won't, I will not show you tables of vitamin B2 right now and, and selenium. You can do it uh, on your own. And of course, <clears throat> again, this is not a treatment. So for example, if, if you're um, sensitive or allergic to foods, some of the food sources that, that are rich in these nutrients, of course, you avoid those, right? Uh, but just to show you uh, the importance of these nutrients and addressing in addressing uh, this topic. And so the bottom line is, you know, you probably want to avoid this type of diet, right? Processed foods, which are devoid of these types of nutrients, maybe focus more on a diet that is rich in healthy foods and healthy in, in non-processed foods, because these are the, food, the type of foods that would typically uh, provide you with the various nutrients, the vitamins and the minerals that you need for your health. Now, having said that, some people, you know, do their best to eat healthy and still, you know, may have high blood pressure, may have some health issues. Um, so, you know, may, by now, hopefully you've, you know, you've corrected some things. Maybe you're not taking in a lot of polyunsaturated fatty acids. But under condition, under certain conditions, supplementation may be warranted. You know, I mentioned, for example, the vitamin C, its benefit in blood pressure and, 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 and cholesterol reduction seems to start at 500 milligrams. Maybe for some, and so uncommon, it would be hard to get that much vitamin C from the diet. Or another example is coenzyme Q10. You get very little coenzyme Q10 from your diet, and you need several tens, at least several tens, if not 100. 200 milligrams for it to produce its effect on blood pressure and restoration of heart health. And so sometimes supplementation may be warranted. And, and so uh, Dr. Matthias Rath conducted double-blind study to prove just that. Double-blind studies are sort of the gold standard of scientific inquiry. And Dr. Rath, who is a medical doctor, he worked closely with Dr. Linus Pauling, the famous two-time Nobel Prize recipient, Linus Pauling, who actually, um, actually used very high dosages of vitamin C and, and, and lysine, the amino acid lysine, to produce plaque regression and alleviation of angina pain due to blocked arteries in some individuals. Uh, and, and he published these case studies. Uh, why lysine? Because lysine is an amino acid that is important for uh, recovery and repair of the connective tissue in the artery wall. And when you repair the artery, then plaque, much like a scab in the skin, would slough off. But the reason I'm focusing on Dr. Rath is because he actually conducted a double blind study to this effect. And he combined many of the nutrients that I've spoken about so far, including some others as well, into one mixture. And he, he basically provided that mixture to one group and another group received a placebo. And within a year, the treatment group showed plaque regression. In fact, the worst outcome was, was a halt or a stop to plaque development. And Dr. Rath published this finding, published this study under this title, Nutritional Supplement Program Halts Progression of Early Coronary Atherosclerosis. And he used this particular imaging technique, ultra-fast computed tomography, to, to take pictures of uh, the progression or regression of plaque in the arteries in the people who participated in, this, in the study. So how to plaque development is pretty good. And beyond that, many people experienced and showed plaque regression with some individuals showing complete disappearance of plaque. So it just shows you that providing a mixture of, of specific nutrients important for the health of your, of your arteries can be very powerful in, uh, in achieving the goal of preventing a heart attack or a stroke. And Dr. Rath proved that in, in that particular study. So 
hopefully this has been helpful to you. Um, this, these three, this three uh, video series, uh, this three video series course, and uh, hopefully you'll be applying this information. Now, uh, in order to apply the information, you need to have the knowledge. And you know what I've provided you are some important points, really important points. Of course, when it comes to health, there are many factors that affect health, and there are more considerations beyond this. Uh, so you can certainly deepen your learning, and uh, you can uh, have access to my books on my website, my website if you like to, to do so. Um, there are additional articles on my website as well that can help you deepen your learning. Uh, the dangers of low cholesterol is actually available for free. And uh, some of you know that I've created a supplement called Healthy Heart Plus, which is partially based on the principles that Dr. Matthias Rath employed, partially based on my own experience and knowledge. And it contains 23 vitamins and minerals at, uh, at high dosages to help support healthy blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and cardiovascular health. Uh, it's approved by Health Canada for that. That's why the claims are there and comes with a money bag guarantee. So if supplementation is your thing, you can explore that. And I'll have a link, I'll provide a link to that, uh, along with some uh, links to, to, to some testimonials as well. So you see how it, may, it helped other people. Uh, and again, this is not a treatment. This is something that I've created over the last few years as part of my approach to addressing uh, cardiovascular health. And and, and if you'd like to, to receive help uh, you know, beyond the over-the-counter supplement uh, or the education, if you actually like to work with me and you'd like to receive uh, help and guidance in applying uh, this information and applying you know, other pieces of knowledge, uh, applying my, my experience and my vast knowledge uh, in helping you recover, uh, then reach out through the, the website, website again. And also stay tuned for a special announcement about a mentoring program that I'm about to launch that you might find uh, very interesting uh, and, and, and uh, possibly helpful to, to addressing your health challenges specifically. Um, so stay tuned to, to that. And in the meantime, in the meantime, uh, Again, hopefully you found this information healthy. Hopefully you're gonna apply what I've shared with you and I wish you tremendous health. Thank you for watching.